Welcome to the kingdom. I'm the king. We're back with some more Pokemon Legends Arceus. Uh, last time we met the leaders of the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Um, we also, what you call it? We also took down our first Alpha Pokemon as well, which was the Krikatoon, which we were supposed to catch, but we kind of failed that. Um, what else? And now we're on a mission. Here, I'll show you guys right now. <clears throat> I'm out of loads. We're on a mission to defeat a enraged alpha pokemon i think also um it's a what is it uh a cleaver which is gonna be found over there so yeah there's that too which the pearl it's it's like special to the pearl clan and the diamond clan people can't send reinforcements to help out because it'll be seen as like war or i guess or an act of hostility so they sent me to go handle it by the way, I put on some new clothes. The modern uh, sh shirt and pants, which is Galactic Gears, is pretty cool. Um, I kept on the same like shoes, though. I changed my hairstyle, so I have no hat anymore. And the eye color is now like kind of purple, which is pretty cool. Anywho, off screen, like I said, I was going to train up so I don't get defeated. Uh, where is it at? So look, my Duat is now 21. I have a Staravia, 19. Luxio, Buizel, 17. Eevee's 22. Ponyta, right there, 19. Uh, each have some new moves, I'm pretty sure. Um, one thing I was gonna do though is, hold on, give me like two seconds. I was gonna do something. Uh, oh no, chill, chill, chill. I also found a Thunderstone, and we have Heavy Balls as well. Oh, okay, alright, never mind. Okay, here we go. So, we're gonna see how strong this is. I hope it's not over level 35. Anything above that, we're probably screwed. So, let me. I don't know if I should send Duot first. Cleaver's Rock and uh, Bug. So, that's that. And who's this guy? I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleaver. Okay. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Why does he look like, uh, what's his name, Clayton or Clay from um, Black and White, the gym leader, and Drift Vale Silly, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, mostly the hat, honestly, and kind of the hair a little bit. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now. Oh, okay, so we gotta battle him too. Oh, what? He's a Gumi? That's pretty cool. Oh, he's kind of under leveled. Water pulse. Shouldn't do too much. Yeah. Confusion though? Oh, I get to go twice soon too. Tackle, just finish it off. Alright, Gumi defeated. That's it, dude. Also, I caught a Parasect as well. The Alpha one that we saw in the wild. Uh, Irida was her name, and Adamant is the leader of the Diamond Clan. As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. 
If he is indeed struck by the lightning, could the bolts have been... Okay, all right, cool. Okay. Can I do my job now? Like, dang, y'all yapping so much, man. But we must save Cleaver from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you galaxy people actually fix all this? Dude, give me a check. Give me a chance, man. You don't even let me try it. <laughs> Hopefully I get to catch it. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. I feel like I already did that on accident. Yeah. Back to base camp. Talk to the professor. Sometimes I don't want to come here to give away all my stuff because I want to save up. It's like 800 is not enough. Oh, and I got another star rank off screen as well. I forgot to say that. Which gives me access to feather balls, which I haven't tried yet. And I haven't tried to make them either. It would be a fool's game to get, to get close enough to offer him food. That's some expert level thinking right there. Makes sense. Well, how about tea time balls? Put one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Preventing balls. Oh. I like that little uh, like OST right there. It's pretty nice. All right, so let me now. Where's it at? Oh, do I have to? Oh. I think you can fast travel from here. You have to actually leave. Oh, and here's my of the Diamond Clan. I don't know why she's here. My, my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team has certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Yeah, I said the same thing. The Heights Camp. Okay, so she's coming to the Heights Camp as well. And there's Adamant, too. With the weird air. Weird ears found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. This is very important to listen well, okay?
Isn't that the start to the Pokemon Platinum like like opening screen or like start screen? That's a Celest a Celestica flute that Mai just played. Wasn't Celestic also a town in uh, Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum? It said the Celestica flutes are, were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. Alright, cool. So you're just handing out special gifts. Appreciate you. Dude, there better be a Platinum Clan too. I feel like that'd be so sick. And the fact that I can play a flute on the first try is insane. A mine plate, okay. Perfect, that makes my job even easier. I appreciate it. Ah, here we go. Wait, can you also pick up stuff while riding? Oh, yes, perfect. Whoa, I jumped kind of far. Yeah, my bad, my bad. I didn't... <laughs> oh, that actually killed me? I didn't mean... <laughs> I didn't mean to jump that far. No way, are you joking? Bro... Dang, that sucks. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I meant like a light jump. He like, he like full on just like... I'm jumping off the cliff, man. It's not like I can go pick it up either. Dang, that sucks. I feel like I need that stuff for sure. Ah, man. Anywho, let's keep going. This way. I caught an alpha B barrel as well, too. Like that. I will say this riding is definitely smooth. Dude, I've already faced you like a million times now. Well, if that kid, Elaine, I think his name was just now, um, that looks like Clay. If he is actually the person who's supposed to like test us, and that was his test, it shouldn't be too hard. Actually, I'm gonna start off with Weasel. Yeah, here we go. Oh, Leon, my bad, I wasn't even close. Uh, so you say that uh, you guys people came up with the method. Yeah, yeah, don't throw the food at him. Erida, uh, whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. Weird. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust, dude, I will destroy you, but all right. Alright, so Irida's gonna test this out too. Probably shouldn't have Weasel first for this battle. Let's see. 17, okay. Swift. Dang, she did that much damage to me.
Alright, so Weasel's gonna have to shape up, because there's no way she did that much damage. But here we go. Ponyta should be able to handle this. There we go. Thank you. So look, 15, 17. So how strong could this thing be? Because we took down that level 30 Parasect. So unless that Parasect was just not supposed to be there in the first place. Okay. Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Yeah, I'm ready. If I lose, then we'll just come back anyways. But I'm not planning to lose on this first try. Okay, wait a second. victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you have to throw bombs at it so its frenzy reaches zero. You manage to create an opening uh, the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle and the noble's card will stay down for a brief time. Okay, this is gonna be... Whoa! Ah, forget that, dude. Hold up. I feel like putting a tree here is kind of cheesing it. I can't lie. Now's my chance. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh, 18? Oh, dude, watch out, man. Awkward there. Air slash. I didn't mean to do that. My oh, bad. Alright, so it's confirmed to me that Weasel is the weakest link so far. Uh, Duot, we're gonna send him out. Wait, could I in theory catch him? Or is that... Ah, oh, okay, I have to win the battle. Alright, my bad. Ah, water pulse. Oh, she used to continue beating him, and eventually he'll calm down. Okay. Stealth is on. 
It shouldn't do anything to me now. Yes. There we go, one shot. Blew it back at again. Also, is Cleaver naturally this large? Also, why is Teltron doing damage to me? I don't appreciate that. Water Pulse again. Bro. Alright, there goes my duo, which kind of makes no sense, but that's fine. Alright, let me get Ponyta in there. Remember? There we go. Nah, I'm just gonna keep throwing the bombs at it. There it is, that's normal. New move for Luxio, that's pretty cool. Also, I can't catch him. We know Strange Lightning came from out that space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. all right. Also, I just want to take a second. Irida has some nice clothes. I can't lie. And Leon looks kind of stupid. His shoes are kind of cool, though. Okay, there's no way you just pay me with citrus berries. Wait, so can I... So where'd he go? Okay, so I can't catch him, all right. Well, in that case, let me then do this. What's this, Heights Camp? Yes, please. Go back to the game, my bad. Also, what is this? Exit, exit of what? I was gonna say no. Alright, so that's our first, what do they call it, totem? Was it totem Pokemon? Is that what they said? Why are we forgetting the simplest things? Um, I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. 
Oh, a Lord Pokemon. Wait, first off, dude, I'm telling you something right now. I'm calling it right now. There's something up with this dude. Volo has like an alternate alter ego or something. He's very fishy that he's always around everybody. He's not associated with anybody. I know he comes when something important happens. It's very weird. Like, why are you always here, dude? Do you have nothing else going on? And he and he always has like he always only comes when something important happens. So let's go report back to the commander and see what he has to say. Where is he? Top floor. Yeah. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, and you have served the galaxy team admirably. Okay, first off, if you don't give me, like, a raise or some money, that's number one. Number two, if you don't give me, um, an extra star, too, just for that mission alone. Alright, so our first Lord slash Noble Pokemon has been defeated. That being Cleaver, which is pretty cool, I can't lie. An interesting way to handle, like, a little boss. It's pretty cool. Was that better than a gym... Like a regular gym leader, I don't think so. But it was different. Smoke bombs, okay. A second. Okay. There's something real important I need to tell you. Strange. Random little girl named Vessa wants to tell us a story. Um, this kind of secret. Something terrible has happened. High Sui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of strange magic. Uh huh. The magic has become undone. The seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, can you hear me out? I need you to restore the broken seal. Wait, who are you? And why are you a little girl who knows all this information? That's kind of weird. She looks kind of sketchy too. Look at that. that angle right there. She looks kind of sketchy. This odd key student is for you. Isn't that the thing for, what's his name? Yeah, for Spirit Tomb. All the ways. There's only one, there's one real close to where we are now. Start with that one. Oh, and then I guess if I gather all these wisp, I'll then be able to get spirit tomb on my team or something like that. Okay, so we'll do that passively, hopefully. <laughs> Alright, so Vesta's a strange little lady. Also, I thought I thought she was probably gonna say something with a seal, like an old magic. I thought she was talking about um like Giratina or something like that, which would be also pretty cool. Wow, the galaxy team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge.
Who's to say? Hey, you can't fool me. <laughs> you got quite a reputation, you know. Alright, so who are you? And you look also like a gym leader. Arizu. I'm Arizu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Very nice to meet you. Okay, we're getting a lot of random side quests given to us. So there's a lot of names for me to remember when taking a second. So it's come to Ursaluna as well. This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become frenzied. I received no word from Admin or Rita, but this is not something we can simply ignore. Bro, in uh, Scott and Violet, that DLC, I got an Ursaluna Blood Moon. That thing took forever to get, but it, I will say it's one of the coolest Pokemon I've ever encountered. So will plain Ursaluna be just as cool? We'll find out. Probably not though, but it would be close enough. I order you to study Ursaluna in the Crimson Merlins. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. All right. That's a whole nother location. You'll find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those in the Obsidian Fieldlands. At your current rank, you should be able to handle the Crimson Mirrorlands on your own. Here's what you need to know. Your destination is a place within the Mirrorlands, the Mirrorlands, my bad. The Mirrorlands, uh, known as the Salacion Ruins, okay? Salacion is also a city. That is where you'll find Ursuluna's Warden. Also, is this all he does all day, paperwork? I've never seen him move from this desk. All right, so, oh wait, hold up. Okay, so these two people right here are selling, I mean, not selling, they're wearing the same clothes as uh, Volo. Another ball, no, I'm good. Okay, well in the next part, we're gonna go to the Mirelands and see Ursaluna and that whole thing with another Diamond Clan captain. Um, so yeah, in this part we, in this part we took down Cleaver, which was a noble slash um, like boss Pokemon. So that's a whole other thing, which is actually pretty cool. We got it on the first try. I did enjoy that. Definitely different from gyms. Is it better per se? Probably. I don't think so, but it is unique. So I do like that. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time.